my YouTube beauties, it's me again, Brenda. This is another Get Ready With Me. This time I'm using the Dawn Gazing Palette from Bijou Beauty Box. This palette doesn't have a mirror, but it's okay. Um, I really do like these shades. They're very beautiful. They're very easy to work with. You'll see here in just a second. So basically, I've already started off with my face prepped. I've already slapped on some Dermablend and I've already bronzed my face. Looks like I'm having an allergic reaction by the way my face looks in this video. I had no idea that my bronze was that scary. So I do highlight above my eyebrows like I've said in the past just to kind of give myself a crispier look to my eyebrows. I start off with a shade that's a transition color from this palette which is the color Sunrise. I found these shadows very easy to work with. They did apply very nicely and easily. They're pretty pigmented so you don't need a whole lot. And the shadow does spread out nice and evenly when you do buff it out. I grabbed a little bit of that highlight from the Lopardina eyeshadow palette from Root Cosmetics uh, because the eyeshadow palette Dawn Gazing didn't have a highlighter in it. So I went ahead and placed the highlighter in the inner corners tear duct area because I'll be working with a glitter in just a little bit. And when I'm working with the glitter, I like to place the highlighter first. Now I'm deepening the crease area to give that depth feel to the eye. So I'm just using a little bit of the shade Twilight inside the Dawn Gazing palette still. I'm still working with that one. The only thing I grabbed out of the Lurperdina palette was that highlighter and I've already put that away. So I'm just buffing that out and diffusing it. Now in the center lid, I went ahead and used the Horizon color again. Adding that glitter Pandora to the whole entire lid. And I used my finger because I didn't have any glitter glue. So placing it with my finger makes it stick a little bit better. I'm not sure how long this will wear since I didn't have any glitter glue. But I'm just trying to pack it on and diffuse the outer areas right outside of that glitter uh, with a clean brush. Now to the bottom outer waterline, I go ahead and wet a little brush and I use the, use the shade Ariel first and then I darken that up a little bit on the outer side of the corners with the color Twilight with the shade Twilight. I keep wetting that brush because I'm working with the bottom lid so I want to make sure that that color is going to stay. When you wet your product onto your brush, the product just glides on as if it were a liner. Again with my pencil from Urban Decay in Perversion, I just tight line both upper and lower water lines. When I work with glitters, I can't just use any type of eyeliner. I have to use something like this from Pretty Bulgur. It's called the Ink Pod Paint Eyeliner. And I just use a very skinny eyeliner brush. Um, this will help with the chunkiness that the glitter may cause. So a lot of times when you try to use any other type of eyeliner, it doesn't apply correctly because of all the little chunks that the glitter has. But with this pod, it goes on just fine. Now using the Grande Lash Mascara in black. Um, this is what I'll use for my eyelashes today. I'm still not too comfortable using this mascara, but I hate wasting products, so I have not thrown it away. I'm still trying to use it, even though I do not like it. I don't like the way it wears. Um, it's too wet for me. I went ahead and also picked up the Il Maquillage 
Il Maquillage Mascara. And this is the Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. And I went ahead and go over my lashes with this mascara as well. Um, this one has really nice plastic bristles i like the bristles that are like that because it really separates and coats each one of the lashes and that's everything for today you guys i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already i'll see you in my next unboxing or get ready with me goodbye